Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Welcome to another free Sage tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit and delete transactions on Sage. This is for Sage 50 accounts and Sage 50 cloud. The first thing you need to know is what this number is down at the bottom right. Mine says 1344. Yours will say another number. What is that number? That's the first thing you need to know. That number is the transaction number on Sage. So the last transaction that was posted to Sage was transaction number 1344. The next transaction I will post will be 1345. Every transaction on Sage is numbered numerically. It goes up by one per every single transaction. So if we now add a transaction. Let's just do a bank payment, just something nice and simple. So bank accounts, bank payment. I'll just put this in. We'll do the 3rd of February. 987 is the reference. We'll do this to sales, bar sales. And let's just call it something that stands out. And let's do for 10,000. When I click save, you'll see that 1344 will move up to 1345. It will go up by one. So let's save this transaction. And now we have 1345 rather than 1344. If we go to the transactions module, as long as the transactions are in numeric order, by clicking the column here, if we go to the bottom 1345, you can see my bank payment. This is the reference I put in for 10,000. It's all here. This is where all the transactions are on Sage. If you have an older copy of Sage, you will need to come to transactions in order to edit or delete these transactions. If you have a newer copy of Sage, then anywhere that you see the transaction, such as a customer's account, there are edit and delete transaction buttons always at the top of the screen. So it could be a nominal account, it could be a customer's account, a bank account. If you have a newer copy of Sage, you can use these options up here to edit and delete. If you have an older copy, you need to use these transactions. Now the reason why I mentioned the transaction number is if you do have an older copy of Sage, the transaction numbers always show to the left here. So let's say it's this credit charges that we want to edit or delete. This is transaction number 1273. So you'd make a note of that. You'd go to your transactions, go to 1273. You can even search for it up here, 1273. This is our credit charges transaction. We can then edit and delete it. Now, the next thing to mention about editing and deleting transactions on Sage is I strongly suggest that you don't do it. That if there is an invoice that's wrong, that that invoice receives a credit note against it and that a correct invoice is then raised. If there is a nominal transaction that's been posted that's wrong, do some sort of journal to correct it. Editing and deleting transactions on Sage is always your last resort. I really suggest you don't do those things. It's not good accounting practice, but it also makes Sage very messy. Let me demonstrate. If we have this bank payment here and we want to edit it, if I go to edit, so I'm going to highlight it, go to edit, confirm that I want to edit it. I can edit the description, the reference number, the bank account, the date. I can edit any of those details here. If I want to edit any of these things, such as the amount, anything in these bottom boxes, I have to press edit again. I can then edit those things. So let's say the amount was actually meant to be 9,000. The VAT will not automatically change, so you have to do that if there is some sell, sort of sales tax on the transaction. You can close and save. So that transaction is now edited. But you can see that it's cancelled a transaction. So now we have 1346 and it's amended the original transaction. So things start to get very messy very quickly. If I delete this transaction, it's even going to get messier. So you highlight the transaction, you go to edit, 
confirm. You can edit the details here or click edit again if you want to edit any of the values or tax code. If you want to delete a transaction, let's say we want to delete this one now, I can click delete, confirm. There is a delete button at the bottom here. I click yes, it will then delete that transaction. So we have these red transactions, meaning they're deleted. Anything that's red has been deleted. If it's black, then it's not deleted. It's a transaction on Sage. That's just for this transactions list. That's not for other lists, such as the customers, where the red means that a customer is over their credit limit. Don't think that that customer has been deleted. Now, if we go to the bank accounts and we look at this bank account by going to the activity, if we look at the most recent transactions, you'll see that the transaction is not showing. So the 3rd of April 2023, that transaction is not showing. If we go to the nominal codes and we go to our bar sales, so 4,000, and look at the activity on this account, Once again, this transaction is not here. It's not showing. It's been deleted. It's been taken off Sage. But the transactions list will always show it. It will always keep account for it in red. Now, if you have an older copy of Sage, these red transactions will actually appear in the bank account and the nominal account too. It won't wipe them off. But hopefully that helps. That's just a quick guide to editing and deleting transactions on Sage. If this has been helpful, please like, please subscribe. I have tons of free videos on my website. Go and check them out or on my YouTube channel. They're all for free. There's no cost involved. I can teach you all the basics and the advanced features of Sage. No registration required. Thank you so much for watching.